Well, this particular condominium is part of the estate of the late Mrs. Wallace Danforth. Late heck, I bet she doesn't even show up. <laughs> Tim, Mrs. Danforth is dead. Mm. Well, that would explain the tardiness, then, wouldn't it? Well, I guess we'll just have to go on without her. Uh, that's right. As will Mr. Danforth. Tim. But a swinging bachelor pad, he's gonna have big parties. Woo All right, well, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna take this wall out so we can increase the flow from the living room into the dining room area. But before there's construction, there is destruction. <laughs> And who would know more about that than you, Tim? I love destruction, yeah. All right, now, before you take out any wall, you want to make sure that it's non-load-bearing. Simplest way to do that is check out your blueprints. We found that this wall is non-load-bearing, so we're going to rip it out. And the safest, quickest way is using a claw hammer. And to handle our debris, we'll be using this trash chute, which goes directly down to the dumpster below. Good thing to remember, one square foot of wall equals one cubic foot of debris. Remember that when reserving a dumpster. Thank you, Humpty Dumpster. Right. Now, we also have these buckets here for easy cleanup, Tim. Do you have to make such a mess? No, I don't have to, but I want to. I really, really want to. Next, we'll show you how to take out a stud. <laughs> Just buy me a meal, baby. We'll do the time together. I don't think so, Tim. Uh, well, I, I'm using a reciprocating saw on these two-by-fours, but it doesn't seem to be working too well. And I think that the reason for that, Al, is because these boards are hard and brittle and maybe some knots in them. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm going to use a 30-pound sledge. Actually, a 20-ounce hammer would do the same thing. Where would the fun be in that? <laughs> and I've got kind of a clever idea. In order to get a good, solid grip on this, I put some of that sticky stuff on my gloves. Same stuff the NFL players use to grab onto the ball. I got it from my buddies at the Lions. Thanks, guys. Well, that sticky stuff is against NFL rules. <laughs> I mean, I got it from the Chicago Bears. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Hey, I know what I'll do next time. I'll put the sticky stuff on my hands, put the gloves on top, and then put another coat of the sticky stuff. That way I'll get a firm grip. Always think safety. I'll do it right now. Well, speaking of safety, it's always a good idea to keep a safe environment by cleaning up as you go along. Tim, this is really heavy. Come on, let me see it. Oh, well, get hey. your hands off of there. All right, look at this. Use your own momentum, Heidi. Watch this. Swing it back and right out the window. Look at this. Genetic mutations in the second half of the 20th century? It's pretty ambitious for a high school newspaper article. Yeah, well, I'm really excited about this one. I've been working on it for two weeks. Great. You know, your, uh, your commitment to quality comes from my side of the family. <laughs> what makes you say that? Tool time. Hi, honey. Hey. Hey. Guess 
what? I have a surprise for you. Oh, I love surprises. We're being audited. I hate surprises. Yep. No. I want all your business receipts from three years ago. They do? Yeah. Well, these guys are nosy. Who do they think they are? They're the IRS. They can take away your possessions, your house, or cars. Uh-uh, no, no, no. I love my country, but no feds are touching my cars. Mm. <laughs> I already set with ammo. Just find the receipts, all right? This will take forever. I know. Hey, everybody. Hi, guy. Well, I talked to my college advisor, and she said I need some more extracurricular activities. Then you can help me and your mom start our own country. <laughs> Well, I talked to the editor of the school newspaper about writing some articles. I didn't know you were interested in writing. I didn't think you knew how to write. <laughs> Randy, instead of putting your brother down for trying to expand his horizons, you could maybe help him out. All right. Well, first thing you want to do is come up with an idea you're interested in writing about. I got something you could write about. How big government bullies a little car guy, huh? <laughs> I'll uh, think of the ideas on my own. Good luck. Randy, haven't you learned by now that luck has nothing to do with my success? What success? Do you live with your parents and share a bathroom with Mark? <laughs> you live in the basement with no windows and a laundry chute. Yeah, but it's mine. All mine. <laughs> So basically, at the end of my article, I will uh, introduce statistical data from the EPA and the DEP. Right. Now, would that data include the number of people who fall asleep reading your data? <laughs> you know, Brian, I thought you'd take a bit more interest in mutations, seeing as how you are one. Randy, don't stoop to his level. Let me. You're a geek. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Sorry I'm late. I got my hand stuck in the soda machine. <laughs> well, since you're the brother of our top reporter, we'll go easy on you. Everybody, listen up. This is um, Brad Taylor. Hi, Brad. Hey. hey. Yeah. How's it going? So, Brad, have you thought about what you want to write? Yeah, I want to do something on sports and stuff. That'd be great if our paper were called News and Junk. <laughs> what specifically did you have in mind? Articles on lakeside high sports, like the locker room buzz. I was thinking we could get workout tips from our top athletes, and I'd ask them important questions like, hey, yo, so what do you look for in a babe? <laughs> so that's my idea. And this sounds really cool. It, uh, has some promise. You know, Matt, if you want, I can work with Brad, help him come up with something a bit more substantial. Why don't we let Brad run with his idea? Brad. Have your article in by Friday, and uh, we'll see what you come up with, okay? All right, cool, thanks. Yeah. Hey, yo. So did you ever think I'd be working with you on this newspaper? Hey, now. Tim, do you have those receipts we talked about? Got them right here, all categorized and alphabetized. <laughs> Next time, I'm not letting the government off so easy. I'm gonna claim all seven dependents. Seven? Three boys, four cars. <laughs> you can't claim the cars as dependents. Why not? I buy them things, I feed them, I bathe them. <laughs> hey, everybody, guess what? They love my idea for the paper. Hey, good for you. Congratulations. Hey, you and Randy are gonna be the next Woodward and Bernstein. Excuse me? I think Joanne Woodward married Paul Newman. <laughs> Is that the spaghetti sauce guy? Not only does he make spaghetti sauce, but salad dressing and popcorn. And the dude races cars. Now well, that's a talented guy. <laughs> this is an electrician's bill for when you shorted out the circus. How is that a business expense? Because I put out the fire with a Binford fire extinguisher. Hey, guys. Hello, Randy. Hey, we heard the news. Brad's going to be working on the paper with you. Yeah. The editor's going to let him write, but now the real work begins. He's got to have his article in by Friday. All right, see you guys. I'm going to the mall. Wait, shouldn't you start writing your article? 
No, I've already done it. I did it during Spanish class, and I must say it's muy bueno. You wrote an entire article in 45 minutes? Si, senor. Adios. Hey, Brad, do you mind if we look at the article? No, go ahead. Thanks, see ya. All right, I'll be home before dinner. Hey, yo. <laughs> By Brad Taylor. I like the title. Mm. A locker room survey shows that our varsity baseball team prefers boxers to briefs, eight to one. <laughs> the one wearing the tidy whities declined to comment. <laughs> Probably because the elastic strap was cutting his breath off, yeah. you know? This is little... yeah. pure fluff. Hey, yo, tennis team's Drew Levin is now dating his mixed doubles partner, Debbie Silverman? Way to go, Drew. Well, they'll never put this in the paper. Look, it's not a hard-hitting expose, but I bet the kids will find it fun and entertaining. Mom, if every paper had reporting like this, we'd have a nation filled with idiots. <laughs> this is great. Hey, Randy. Hey. This week's paper's out. You know, that was a really great article. Oh, thanks. You know, there's a lot more I wanted to say, but I didn't want to hog the whole front page. Um, technically, you're not on the front page. Well, technically, where am I? You know, I don't think that's really important. What matters is that you got your message across. Well, my message is on the page with next week's lunch menu. I'm buried under Salisbury steak. Randy, it's not that big a deal. No, it is to me. I mean, what could possibly be so important that it bumps me off the front page? Hey, yo, look who's got a remedy for jock itch. <laughs> Great article. Ah, <laughs> gracias. Hey, Randy, I'm sending the paper to everybody I know. Do you know what class I should send it? How about low class? 